So one of the things on SAM that you're going to see is something known as a training assignment. Now, trainings are completely optional. You do not have to do them. I want to get that out of the way right off the bat, but they are going to be beneficial to you. Some of you, you might look at this class and want to cake through it, want to just uh, wing it and see what you do know off the top of your head. Some of you, you might want to actually get this training in so you can learn that stuff. And what happens is if we start this training, for example, you're going to notice that what we see are a few different options. One, as soon as it loads up, you see that we get a number of tasks. Now we have a few things going on here. The first option is to observe. And if I hit continue, click the user one icon. You can see that what will happen is it'll actually go through the entire process for you. And it'll kind of dictate things. So if you're an auditory learner uh, and a visual learner, you can watch the video. We also have the practice version, which will do the exact same thing, but now instead it's going to tell you what to do. Click the user one icon. Now it's not going to go any further until you click the user one icon. The password entry box for the user one account opens. And then type P2SSWD in the password text box. So you can see it'll let you go through that process uh, for it. Finally, we have the apply section. This is kind of the more let's see if you know it kind of deal. You don't hear any conversation. It's not going to walk through anything. It's literally telling you the task at the bottom there. Log on to the computer. Click the user one icon. Type pat P2 word. In the password text, click the arrow to log in. And it's only going to do that. So you actually have to go through and see if you know how to do that task. This is the exact same task you're going to see on that Windows 7 exam version. Remember, it's not really an exam. It's a homework assignment. But that's how Sam looks at it. So I can go through the process. Now, let's say, for example, I screw up. I'm going to not type the correct password wrong password. As soon as I click on that arrow, password try again. Alright, now if I do type in the correct password, we do have to wait because you can see eventually it'll register, boom, we've got that task complete. Whichever version you do, you can do one of them or you can do all three. As soon as I hit task complete, I'll move on to the next task. Finally, say I want to skip over one. I know how to log on to a computer. I want to look for a specific task. That's the one that, you know, maybe I've done the exam version and I keep screwing up on this one assignment. I can actually go over here to my task list. And that's going to show me every single one of the tasks that I have not done and all descriptions. So using keyboard shortcuts, for example, I can click on that one. It'll take me to it. If I want to jump through so I don't have to see this, I can click on just the apply and it'll do that for me. So press the Alt F keyboard to show the file menu. Alt F, task complete.